Good afternoon, Julie. Groundbreaking for the $500 million Barack Obama Presidential Center moving one step closer with a $200 million commitment from Chicago City Council to begin critical foundation work here on the site. In partnership with the Chicago Department of Transportation, we will create more and better green space in the footprint and surrounding neighborhoods. President and Mrs. Obama chose to build their presidential center here because they believed it could be a catalyst that creates transformative opportunity for our community. Obama Foundation Chairman Marty Nesbitt describing the vision, a transformative four-building campus that will be a world-class destination for an estimated 700,000 visitors a year, but even more important, generating good-paying jobs and careers for people in the neighborhoods surrounding Jackson Park. The Barack Obama Presidential Center already spurring additional development in the community with the help of hundreds of millions of dollars from the city, state, and private entities entities all investing on the south side. Originally slated to be complete this year, the Obama Center, delayed by years of lawsuits from, among others, the Protect Our Parks group, arguing unsuccessfully that the 19.3-acre site violates the public trust doctrine governing public land. The Obama Foundation, aiming to raise up to a billion dollars to pay for the construction costs and the center's endowment, the 44th president of the United States weighing in via Via Obama Foundation video. Making it safer for pedestrians and for bicyclists to access the area, improving park trails and rerouting road traffic accordingly. I hope you'll join us on the road to groundbreaking, a celebration of our hometown of Chicago. We were welcome to build this president. From the beginning, Obama seeking to create an institution to train and educate future leaders. The former first family, obviously, with deep ties to the South Side, the place where Michelle Obama famously grew up just a mile or so from Jackson Park. The first lady deeply committed to her hometown. With the pandemic and subsequent recession that we've endured, the glaring divide between rich and poor exposed for all to see. And the hope is that the foundation will be a magnificent for new development of things like affordable housing, educational resources, and health care for the community. No word yet on how long it'll be before the groundbreaking takes place. In Jackson Park, Julian Cruz, WGN News.